What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World. And before we get really started going crazy with everything that's going on, I want to make sure that everybody understands that you should have already completed that left tackle, uh, Joe Thomas solo. It is very, very important that you guys have done that. Uh, before I even get into the fact that you guys are going so crazy over the bats and all the currency, we're going to talk about some of those things right now. But all of us, uh, for the most part, should only have one left, um, which will complete the set. Now, for those of you guys that are missing one or two, EA has been very, very strict with it. I doubt that they're gonna still give somebody an opportunity to get the ones that they missed back, simply because a lot of us have already received ridiculous amounts of training and so many other things that are going on. I highly doubt it's gonna happen, but is it impossible? Probably not. Maybe they'll do something later, but um, you know, I've been vocal about it. I'm trying to like at least get it for my viewers. Like I told you guys before, you can't save everybody. I'm only looking out for my viewers. So bro, look, it is what it is. We're gonna see what we could do. Um, uh, very, very vocal about it, as you guys can see, uh, all the time talking about it. So we'll see how that works out, and I'll keep you guys updated with that. Now, going back to the back currency and trying to make sure you guys understand what's happening. Remember, this is happening in two waves. So you have other things that are gonna be going on. You do not need to rush and use up all of the extra training that you may have gotten from EA Sports because it may be other ways for you to make coins and things like that later, okay? But what you can do is what I'm gonna do right now. So look, pretty much right here, this has been kind of glitchy for a lot of people, right? So, you know, people can open up, a, you know, a few packs here and there, whatever, play the solos, go through those things, uh, you know, craft materials, do a lot of things along those lines to see what you can actually pull. But because the 77 plus overall can be anywhere from like, you know, a 77 to a 92, many of us have tried this out. So for you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and see what we could do with it. I don't recommend that you guys use minimal training that you have and go crazy with this because there are other ways that you can utilize your training. For instance, with the training currency, you guys can just go out here, you know, buy a couple of these, the 90, 90 to 91 overalls and see what you can get with that. 6,000, but like I said, for me right now, I can get like three because that'll go about to like 18,000 and change. But does it make sense for me to do that? You see what I'm saying? Does it make sense for me to eat all my training right now or do I wait it out and see what's happening? Those are the things that you guys have to understand. So for the most part, we're gonna go right now and I'm gonna give you guys some examples of what you can do based on what we get. So we're gonna start using some training. I'm gonna do like four of them back to back. All right, I'm gonna use a thousand training because you know, a thousand training is not gonna really kill us. Obviously that's garbage. We're gonna just go ahead. Cause if you don't, if you don't see the wings that come out, that means that it's gonna be definitely trash. So just so you guys have an idea about that, um, just when you look at the graphic of the way it opens up, like you already know if you're getting something crazy, like this is garbage again. Uh, and you just keep doing, you, you know, like four of them is fine. You see you get the 250 bats, you could try to accumulate it. And then I'm gonna show you guys what will be the most logical thing to do after that. So let's go ahead and um, you know, we, we'll do like four. Okay, still nothing good, still nothing good, great. Okay, so we got an 81. Tremont Edmonds, not bad, not bad getting an 81, that's cool. Um, what do we got, what do we got? most feared let's go we'll keep going through like that and like i said for those of you guys that are also asking about you know jimaya what about if we um you know we can go and try to get other things you know with the with the training Let, let's go do heavyweights let's do football outsiders you see this is the thing right when you guys start going crazy with stuff like this because remember with the flashback players they're pretty much garbage right but the heavyweight players there are certain players that are decent like the fullback from the 49ers, even though we just got a new for, uh, a new fullback um, with Okoye, there are decent players that are available. So, you know, you have options, but I, I, like I said, I'm not gonna go crazy and just, you know, just use everything up. Um, apparently, we're just getting a lot of 77s from this one, so we'll go to the other screen, because sometimes that matters, uh, the screen that you're getting it from. So we'll go to the most feared screen and try to see if we can get lucky with this right here. And um, like I said, as we get it, we quick sell the bats, and then you figure out what you wanna do after that. All right, as we go along, 85 Tevin Coleman, that's not bad. So that's 4,600 bets. All right, and you, this is this is what I'm trying to explain. This gamble right here is probably not smart for people that don't have a lot of training. But I'm just trying to give you guys some examples because everybody is tweeting me about how crazy their pulls are with this. But it's it's not designed for you to win. You know what I'm saying? EA Sports doesn't design stuff for you to win. So you got to always keep that in mind. Um, also keep in mind that it's 47,000 bats for um, a 92, but we wouldn't use that right now. What we would do with all the bats that I'm getting right now, we're waiting for the wave of the second one because this is for the month, of, you know, throughout October. So we wait and we see what's coming out with it. Um, and that's pretty much what we do. So we're gonna go and get a few more and then we're gonna be done with this with the whole training aspect of it. I just wanted to go down to like about, I guess like 19,000, cause that wouldn't be too bad. And then we'll see what's, you know, what's popping. 
Um, we did get a Tevin Coleman, so that's not bad. And like I said, when you when you guys are going crazy right now, uh, as far as getting the um, those other players with training, be patient. Just be patient, because a lot of you guys, like you were telling me, yo, bro, I got so much training, I didn't even do anything. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about why. Why? Come on, get out of that. Get out of that. Don't don't go. Like I said, understand this. Number one, stop running around and saying that you got extra training because EA is watching. Number two, just chill out, bro. Because as the promos get crazier, we're gonna need that training anyway. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about the fact that, you know, oh, bro, I got this, I got this, g -Mai. yo, it is what it is. Don't worry. You're going to be fine. Another Tremont Edmonds. All right, uh, Tremaine Edmonds, that is. All right, so we'll do one more because we're about to be under uh, a certain amount of training and then we'll be done with that. All right, so now, at whatever this is, we'll, we'll be done with it. All right, so they gave us more garbage of a 79. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, so now, right, we're at 19,555 bats and we got a decent amount of training. Now from that, right, this is the situation. You can, you can play around with this if you want, but remember, if you want a player, just buy the player. Because financially, it does not make sense to get skills and to get material fantasy packs and do all that stuff with, uh, like, especially for my no money spent players. It doesn't make any sense. So realistically speaking, if you want a card, just go buy a card. Everything that I just did right there was to show you that there is a chance that you can pull a lot of things higher than a 77. You saw that we got an 85, all right? Those type of things I'm okay with. Anything else above this, don't do it. Do not do it because it doesn't make any sense. All of the sets that go into everything that's happening does not make any sense. So as you move forward right now and you look at the things that are available, you have to you know, go over to the sets and try to assess it and make sure that what you're doing makes sense because with all this stuff that they're doing, the, the, the biggest thing that I would try to point out to you guys is once you get everything set and done, um, you know, you don't want to have to go into a situation where you're actually looking to get these materials unless you're playing house rules and you're playing the solos. Okay, if you're playing house rules and you're playing the solos, that's something that's very, very important that you can utilize if that's what you want to do. A player like this, the Tevin Coleman that we just got, if you wanted to craft a few materials and to craft a few skills, you can do that as well. But remember, they're not doing it the way that they did it in the past where you use the actual players to create the masters. So you're not getting any benefit from getting an 85 um, Tevin Coleman other than the fact that it is what it is. You're going to get it, uh, you know, however many bats that he's worth. There is nothing else. And again, the value does not make sense. So that's what my point is with everything that goes on. So now, for those of you guys that are going back crazy, um, like I said, I would hold off until the second scenario. Now, what do you do in the meantime? You go to the challenges or you do weak, um, the house rules. Okay, and you try to get as many things as possible. These have been generally um, getting reset on the daily. It hasn't reset today uh, since I've done the video, but it is what it is. But these are the things that you could be doing, right? You have to win the game. What is it? Third quarter, of rush, rush 80 yards, did allow 80 rushing yards. So these are pretty simple, but just look and understand what's happening, right? When you go down through it and you look at the milestones, getting these milestones can be very, very key. Now, the 85 overall Nat Most Fair Fantasy Pack, I just showed you guys what's going on with that. If it's a Nat, it's going to be a lot less than what we just got from what we just did. So this is what this is what I'm trying to make sure you guys understand. You got to play through a lot of these things to get other things that are free. The usual way, like EA is not giving you anything, you know, just for free, whatever, except for some of you guys that are still going on about how many training points you got for free. But they don't generally give you anything for free, so you gotta play and get the stuff that they have offered. Now, remember, this is the first wave, so they may continue to add things, and then you'll get a tier two, which is the ones that are getting released next week, one of those players, maybe you get a fantasy pack from that. So that's why when they put these solos out, I try to encourage everyone to make sure, like, yo, look, did you do your solos? Did you do these solos? You know, because if you don't do them, like, bruh, like, it, it's really nothing else that's gonna help you out with the game if you don't want to spend money. And I always try to make sure that everybody gets both advantages. Like, I don't want, like, oh, bro, buy a pack every day. Nah, nobody's doing that. Like, that, that's craziness. Nobody's buying a pack every day. That's wild. Okay, yeah, he, just, he was running way too fast. I know I could do about that. That dude was running way too fast, dog. Like, how is he running that fast, though? Like, who is that? Bro, yo, like, is that Usain Bolt? Like, who? Why would they, why would that guy just run that fast and just and just take take him down like that? Oh, by the way, Saquon Barkley is back today, so that's gonna be exciting to watch. We'll see how that works out. Thank you, hold the block. What? Oh, he broke the tackle. Oh, this is arcade mode. I'm like, yo, what, what is going on? That, that isn't even happening. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm, look, I'm looking at it like, wait a minute. That is that definitely does not usually happen. Why did he just break that tackle like that? In competitive, it's sometimes, but it, they don't usually. Okay, hold up, like, oh, we good, we good, we good. All right, bro. Why did I jump like that though? Like sometimes I just find myself just want to see if I can hurt on these dudes because they garbage, bro. Like, but whatever. All right, so look, pretty much like I usually do. You're gonna want to come out. You're gonna want to make sure that you know you're on true clock. You're not trying to play this game forever. All right, yeah, just spin moving. Okay, first one free. All right, so that's fine. We got. We need 15 more. What? Hold up. Wait a minute. Did we start at the 20? I thought we started at the 20 yard line. All right, so we're not even gonna be able to. We're gonna have to get the ball back. Actually, why did? Who is that? Who just threw that guy out the way like that? Who is that? I gotta get that guy on my team because you you playing a lot harder than that bum that's over there. You know what I'm saying? Your arcade mode is going eight though. All right, just step on everybody. Yeah, keep going. All the way up for six. All right, so how much more do we need? All right, we need five more yards. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the same exact play, and then we're gonna go ahead and get those yards. Okay, no, we're not gonna go that way anymore. Um, yeah, everybody's lined up over there. We gotta we gotta flip this play real quick. Ready, boss? Is that, are they gonna automatically shift their line? Is he? Oh, they man to man. It don't matter. Randy Moss should be able to block that guy with no issue. Let's go to walk this in. All right. So now with the way that this is, did we get any more yards? All right. Still 75 yards, even though we just got two. Shout out to EA Sports, man. You know what I'm saying? Hooked on finals work for me. Like, bro, that was two yards. Even though it's a two point conversion, you sh you know you should get credit for it. But that's been something that's always happened. You never really get credit for the stuff that goes on in the two point conversions unless that's part of the objective. All right, so now, pretty much, you know, we got to just lock these guys up really quickly, get all that stuff done, and then we'll go from there. Um, I don't think that it should be much of an issue to prevent them from... They might not even run the ball, to be honest. Um, like, the way that it is right now, the way that everything is set up, they might try... And you got Cam. Maybe a read option? Maybe? Okay, they just... Okay, whatever. Because once we get the ball back, you just run the clock out. They have no timeouts. And then I don't think they're going to go for it because the game is tight. So this one should be pretty easy. And like I said, for the most part, they're not as they're not as difficult as the Mutt Heroes one. So there should there should be much issue with the way that you guys have to complete it, especially when you look in the top and you see this arcade mode. Like once you see that it's arcade mode, you pretty much know, like you know, the CPU you know, the CPU will try to cheat you, but for the most part, you should be good. Like LT just screaming up the edge, and um, all of the solos are typically like that. So this is something that I try to encourage. Remember, what happens is this. As soon as this is over, like, you know, they go through the first wave, they just add on everything else. And then remember, everybody tries to rush at the last minute to get the whatever's free. Because you see how it's the 85, um, the 85 overall fantasy pack that you're gonna get from wave one? It's no way possible that they do the same exact thing for wave two. They probably, in most cases, will give you the opportunity to get something higher overall, which is what we're looking for. And then you just have to play too many solos at once. So you don't want to actually, oh, you just missed it. Bro, all right, just, just, yeah, because I don't want you to fumble. I absolutely 100% don't want you to fumble, so please stop breaking all these tackles, Saquon. Like, he's just breaking every single tackle, but it's not necessary. Like, why, why, why would you do that? All right, come on, let's go. And why is the CPU playing so hard, though? Like, they're playing out of their minds right now, but it's not necessary. You know what I'm saying? Like, why, like, I've never seen them play like, play like this on arcade. Usually, you know, competitive mode, they'll cheat you. Like if you're playing like solo battles, but they don't usually go this hard. Right now they're going extremely hard, like for no reason. I don't, I don't understand that. I hold that block. We good. Okay. So right now, this is the options, right? With the way that these games go, because some of you guys are still having issues with clock management and these solos. This is what I would recommend. When you're playing a solo like this and you're strapped for time, do not score. Once you completed all the objectives, just make sure you can make the field goal. Because, you know, most of the time, they're not going to have timeouts because we've given a lot of feedback about that uh, when they used to give the CPU timeouts and EA has abruptly stopped it. So you won't have to worry about that, you know, them calling any timeouts. You pretty much run it down to like three seconds and just make sure you're close enough to kick the field goal and just end the game. And that's pretty much how you, you know, speed through the, um, the solos because there are a lot of people that still are new to Madden. And you know they'll ask a, a question every now and again, and then I'll see it, and then I'll make sure that I touch on it, uh, you know, inside of a video. So um, that that should be able to help you guys, you know, know if you want to just not waste your time playing a solo for 55 hours. You get like that. That's just not cool. So right now with the true clock, it should bring it down pretty low. Um, you could run a play if you want. I don't think typically the CPU will let you fumble. And then when you get it to like that, uh, like three, I guess you go two. You call a timeout. And then you just take the field goal. That way, it's not anything crazy, and then you complete it, and then that's it. Also, for those of you guys that are asking, is it mandatory to go for five stars? 
No, it is not. But it makes it so much easier to meet all your milestones. So instead of playing so many more games, you play the minimum amount, a minimum amount that's required, and then you just leave everything else. Because once you get everything that's you know needed for you to get, all of the rewards that are there, why are you playing more? That's pretty much you know where I'm at with it. So that's where we are right now as far as you know people going crazy. If you guys stayed for the entire video, you know what to do. Write bats. Because a lot of you guys are still going, oh, we only got 10 bats? Oh, well, what? 30, 40 bats? What, what's going on? How many bats? Like, bruh, like bat currency though? Okay, whatever. And like I said, go through these things and see what you can do with it. And um, just write bats if you stay for the whole video. I'm going to finish up as many of these as possible. Uh, my next milestone, which is 20, is going to be 100 bats. And then we're going to get enough for the 30 uh, to get that 85 overall net. And then I guess we can use the 600 bats for later. But for the most part, I want you guys to focus on house rules and weekend league for the time being. All right, guys? I'm going to see you guys and girls next time you enjoy your day. It's Football Sunday. Until next time, one love.